Football season is an exciting time here at McNeese State University where family, friends, and fellow alumni come together to support our Cowboys. And while many memories have been made under those bright stadium lights, none of it would have been possible without the beginning of McNeese State University. I'm Henry Duaro. I was in the class, started in 1944. In those days, Lake Charles more or less stopped at Salier Street where the railroad is. From there out to here it was a small, barely two cars could get on it, paved street, and it ended here. This was the old pool farm. farm. My niece uh, was the start of my college education. And of course, I was the first in my family who ever went to college. Everything I said was in Kaufman Hall, including what you call the Union now. And they had a jukebox in there. And we had a friend, Mickey Swan. He loved to dance, loved to dance. But he would never, never put a nickel in the jukebox. So finally, we found one song that he wouldn't dance to. We played that thing over and over and over. <laughs> My name is Fred Nodier. Uh, I graduated from McNeese in January 1959. I was on McNeese track team. And that year, we won the Gulf Coast Conference Championship. During the McNeese's 75 years in existence, we're the only track team to win a conference championship. McNeese always provides a good environment. I received a, a really a, a fine education that prepared me for my future endeavors. I'm Dr. Lee J. Molazon, Jr. I graduated from McNeese in 1965. The Frosch Hall represents my start and we spent many hours here in anatomy, physiology, especially in Ms. Cardish's class in physiology. We all remember her, but we were very lucky to get out of there with a B. My ROTC years, my student government years here, my academic years here, all in all were men and women who shaped my life for the rest of my life. I'm now 70 years old, and I look back at my life here at McNeese when I was 18, and the best year of my life is still my senior year at McNeese. Hi, I'm Willie Landry Mount. I graduated from McNeese State University in 1971. I'm one of four and we all graduated from McNeese. I believe that the folks who were our mentors, the professors and teachers of McNeese, all were exceptional. I think what's remained the same is the closeness of the people of the campus. Professors are actively engaged with the students and that's the way it was when I was here. And I think that's what makes us maybe a, a little bit apart from other universities is that personal touch. My name is uh, Butch Alcindor and I'm a 1981 graduate of McNeese State University and my major was radio and TV broadcasting. There's a lot of really excellent teachers here, but the one guy that stands out for me had to be Dr. David Rigney. And uh, he was the head of the radio and TV department he found out that I got a summer internship at the local NBC affiliate and after that he took a real personal interest in me. It was kind of cool just driving through the campus today and seeing all of the new buildings and I understand they have a new mass communications building, you know they have new dorms, the dorm we lived in was not state-of-the-art. <laughs> the football team however has a state-of-the-art facility now to get ready so there are a lot of new things going on. It's, it's a new university in a lot of ways but what hasn't changed it's that same family atmosphere that you feel from the minute you walk on the campus and it goes back to once a cowboy, always a cowboy. My name is John Ayub, graduated in 1993 from McNeese. McNeese has always been a part of our family. Uh, my dad taught here for 46 years. He was a part of McNeese. My brothers and sisters all went to McNeese and cousins and aunts. McNeese is a school of opportunity. I was able to run for student body president and I uh, had the courage because of the support of my friends 
and I don't think I could have had that at any other university. It gave us the opportunity to do certain things that maybe we wouldn't have the opportunity to do at another school. My name is Steven Perez. I started McNeese in the fall of 2002 and graduated in finance in December of 2006. Uh, my parents attended McNeese, grandparents, and they both met their significant others here. And, and I actually, I'm engaged, so I met my future wife here at McNeese also. My favorite professor was probably Dr. Mishra. He was my uh, toughest finance professor. I, I think McNeese influenced the course of my life in that it gave me the same academic upbringing that I believe helped my grandparents and my parents succeed. My name is Paige LaRocca. To me, McNeese means leadership. I've been in a student organization and it's taught me so much about myself and about other people and how to work with people. My favorite professor was Mary Kay Eason because she was always there for her students. She did anything above and beyond. I love McNeese, I always will. It's always a big part of my heart. It changed my life. The future of McNeese is so strong because of the past. When I say I graduated from McNeese, I say that with a lot of pride. I wouldn't be the person I am today without McNeese. Anywhere in town, anyone that is a McNeese graduate is proud to be one. I'm very proud to say that I'm a graduate of McNeese. From a poor form all the way to Carnegie Hall, the road to success runs through McNeese State University.